Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today, I want to talk to you about the BMW R9T Scrambler. So if you want to learn about this bike a little bit, want to see some of the mods that have been done to it and some of the adjustments made, stick around. Dang, this looks like a cliff. I mean, this looks like a, this is a cliff. All right, I can do it. I can do it. Hang on, let me figure out which way we go. I think we stay, I don't know. Yeah, no big deal. Okay, the R9T Scrambler. So on the Scrambler version, uh, you get spoked wheels, which I think looks so much better. You get a little different suspension, fender package, and this one comes with uh, a 50-50 tire. Uh, this one's the Metzler Carouse. So it looks rugged and off-road. This thing has a 1200cc motor. It's all a motor. And then BMW realized it had to have wheels and a handlebar and a seat to make it useful. I mean, it's all motor. Uh, exhaust comes off the left side. There's no bags. There's no panniers. There's no top boxes. It, it, it is a pure enthusiast motorcycle. So, full disclosure, it doesn't belong to me. Uh, my buddy ordered it and bought it. Uh, he's had it since it was brand new. Um, it's been in storage for about a year and a half. Uh, he wanted to ride it, so I did a full service on it and replaced the battery. And before I get back to him, wanted to film it. So <clears throat> this thing was ordered in with the color combination with the brown seat and everything, and I'm going to show it to you. But what he's done since then, uh, he he bought the bag set up for it. And very unique. Uh, right off the bat, he realized there was an issue. So he made an adjustment and I'm gonna show you that. And now it's very functional. So the R90, uh, depending on who you are, you can take this thing anywhere. Uh, the scrambler version is set to be off-road. So you, you could gravel roads, you, you could be the yard, but man, it's, it's, it's pretty naked. There's no, how much crash protection. So for me, it's a great, around town, uh, the widest points to motor, there's no bags, doesn't have a wide hip. You can uh, lane split and have a blast on it. Maybe you ride it to work, the gas prices. So being a naked bike with no bags, how do you take your laptop, your lunch, change your clothes, whatever the case may be? Well, my buddy has a solution to that. So let's talk about that. So this is the first bag, uh, very elegant, sleek, simple leather with, I'm not sure what this material is, two buckles to open it, um, very clean. The design is super nice and it's not cheesy, it's well made and it clips on and off the bike pretty quick. This says it has 11 pound capacity and it's got some more clips on the inside. It's got a waterproof liner. Um, Certainly big enough for your computer, your lunch, change of shoes if you wanted, whatever the case may be. Oh, uh, very nice. This inner bag is removable, so you could pull the inner bag out, leave the other bag inside, but it attaches very easily and very nice. And it also has a problem. So my buddy just discovered the problem and engineered the fix for himself. So if you've got one of these bag setups and you are you know the issue I'm talking about, stick around because I've got the solution. So <clears throat> on the back, it has a very hard plastic system that snaps into the mount. And I'm gonna show you the mount and this is all BMW stuff. So when you place this on the bike, if you see these holes, this was much lower, which meant the bag was higher. And they probably did that for ground clearance or aesthetics or whatever the case may be. But there's a two bag system. This is the little saddle bag, so to speak. And, and like I said, plenty big enough for your lunch, X pair of shoes, computer, whatever the case may be. And then you could walk into your office with this and it's an elegant bag. So very well done, BMW, I'll take that. 
Okay, the second bag is more of a traditional duffel bag. Again, same thing, two leather straps for closing it, um, and, and very well nice, nicely made leather straps. I'm not 100% sure on capacity, but as you can see, it's a big bag and it has a zipper inside top. So uh, I assume you could treat this like a waterproof bag because it's got the inside liner. And this is certainly big enough for a overnight trip, right? On the very bottom, it has a recessed spot where it's designed to sit on the seat. So <clears throat> with this bag, the problem that he had was with this much lower, the bag much higher, it stuck up above the seat. So when you put this on, the bag was lopsided. So he didn't like that, so he found a fix, and I'm gonna show you that. So let's attach this to the bike. Okay, now you get a better view of it. As you can see, I call it a purest minimalistic bike. Uh, Intake and stuff is just super clean. Absolutely love the color combination. Uh, you see the recessed part where it fits on the seat. And I will say, I, I feel like it, it secures very well. It has some straps. I, 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 I could pull it down tighter, but I think it secures very well. And it looks super, super clean. Uh, no problem putting computer ex extra pair of shoes and some socks and things in there and certainly get all your stuff for an overnight couple night trip in, in here uh, BMW badging BMW badging and they look clean when you walk into the Hilton or the Starbucks to do lunch you're gonna look clean and elegant the bike just really flows well um, they didn't try to hide that gigantic motor for a 500 pound motorcycle it's all motor people are gonna notice that you know, no windshields, good Brembo brakes. Man, it's got great brakes. And for me, the spoked wheels are the way to go. Single-sided swing arm, drive shaft fed. Man, just a great, great motorcycle. Uh, he mentioned it to me, and I agree. If the tank strap and, and tank bag would have been the same color as the seat, it would have flowed a little better. I wouldn't complain. Um, I wouldn't complain. So from the back, you can see the old girl's not wide, so you can lane split and feel comfortable doing it. Uh, let's, let's hear it run. It's got an Akrapovic exhaust. Look at that, huh? Not loud enough to annoy the neighbors, but loud enough that people question what it is. Your dash, very simple. Uh, speedometer, some ABS lights, and one like check engine light or something. It's it's minimal, uh, but that's okay. Uh, I think it's enough. So heated grips, it does have that, and then your turn signals and, and other that. Uh, there's no cruise control. There's none of that stuff, but. Man, it's fun, and it's got some. It's got some horsepower. I mean, it's a 500-pound motorcycle with, with just bags. BMW realized they couldn't put the motor alone, so they had to put wheels and a seat and some handlebars, and that's what they did. So let's check out the other side. Okay, this side. This is the business side of the office. So you can see, a Kropovic. That's where the sound comes from. It's nice and clean. It's tucked in, it looks good. Uh, got another pocket on there. Put your cell phone in there if you want. Some snacks, man, just, it's, it's set, it's ready. I love it. Does have a steering stabilizer. Uh, I can't say enough personally for the Brembo brakes. Uh, I think Brembo are better brakes than the Hayes calipers, but that's a different topic. The, the color flows great. Uh, I would like to see it with the brown tank strap and tank bag if he had it, but, and his tank bag, I, I, it's, tank bag's bigger than I 
think. Um, he's loaded some stuff in it before, but man, what a fun, fun motorcycle. So, had a price point of, well, I think they're like 15K new. It's not gonna break the bank. And where does this fit? It's not a touring bike, all right? It is an adventure bike. You could off-road it some. Um, nothing for skid protection and any of that, but if you wanna go out into, you know, what Texas calls the hill country and hit some dirt roads and some of that stuff, perfect. You're not gonna scuff a bunch of chrome and ding up stuff. It's perfect for that. If you're a semi new rider, but you, you you feel like you're aggressing, you know, a lot of people start with like the BMW 310s. Uh, they outgrow them very quickly. This thing, it's got a 1200cc motor. Put street tires on it, you'll give a lot of the crotch rocket boys fits. You know it's true. So uh, it handles well, it performs flawlessly, great brakes, and the aesthetics, man, it just looks good. So, BMW, uh, you get my vote for the fun bike. What a fun bike. Uh, spoke wheels are, are the way to go. It just looks so much better. This is the purest motorcycle. This is the way motorcycles were built back in the day, and, and, and that's what this is. I'm not sure of all the specs. Uh, I know it weighs around 500 pounds. I don't know how much fuel it holds. I don't know. I'll look for some of that stuff and put it up there, put a link or something. But what a fun, fun motorcycle. BMW, you did it right on this. Uh, I got to thank my buddy Dennis for uh, loaning it to me so I could I could shoot this video. Um, you know, fun, fun bike. Still plenty of room. Like I said, take a nice overnight trip. The bag attaches well. It's well made. Uh, job well done. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of this and make life a ride.